Yes, yeah, seeing the skyline. Um, yeah, di differentiating the buildings. I can can even you know see the the floors, different floor levels. Um, c'est la première fois depuis 20 ans que Brent Chapman peut enfin admirer un paysage. Ce Canadien de 34 ans a perdu la vue alors qu'il était encore adolescent après avoir absorbé un ibuprofène qui a déclenché chez lui une réaction très violente, le syndrome de Stevens Johnson. S'il a frôlé la mort, il a aussi perdu la vue. Après un mois dans le coma, Brent Chapman s'est réveillé avec une forte sécheresse oculaire, une déficience de cellules souches limbiques, une sclère abîmée, un trichiasis et par-dessus tout, une cornée gravement endommagée, impossible à soigner même avec des greffes, comme il nous l'explique lui-même. You know, after 20 years of doing that, I, I sort of couldn't do it anymore. But luckily, my retina was intact and and healthy, so this allowed for um, the the tooth and eye surgery to be done. This operation is really to cure like a rare forms of blindness in which there is severe damage or scarring to the front of the eye, but the internal workings of the eye are all healthy and unaffected. And that tends to be, you know, a few situations, burns from a fire explosion or a chemical exposure, uh, autoimmune conditions, drug reactions that leave patients with no vision in either eye. Essentially, someone closing the um, very much like closing the blind in the window um, uh, and you can no longer see out. The operation just seeks to reopen that window into the back of the eye. The normal way we would do that would be with a corneal transplant, but um, when there is such severe damage, we know that won't survive. So what we do know will survive is a tooth um, and into that tooth we place a small on l'appelle l'opération de la dernière chance pour retrouver la vue, l'ostéo-odonto-kératoprothèse, aussi appelée OOKP. Elle comporte deux étapes principales. La première opération consiste à extraire une dent du patient, généralement la canine. Elle est retaillée et une fine lentille optique à focale fixe est insérée à l'intérieur de façon à traverser la dent. Cette dernière est alors implantée sous la joue du patient pendant trois mois pour permettre la croissance de nouveaux tissus. Lors de la deuxième chirurgie, trois mois plus tard, la dent est retirée de la joue. Elle est ensuite cousue de façon à remplacer la cornée grâce au tissu de muqueuse qui s'est formé autour de la dent pendant son séjour dans la joue. It was a little scary, you know, it's two surgeries, uh, one is six hours, one is 12 hours. It, it's quite invasive, but um, I, yeah, decided to go ahead with it. It's not for people with, say, glaucoma um, or retinal issues, diseases of the optic nerve. Um, this does not work. It's really, uh, all we are doing really is, like I say, opening the blind on a window, Uh, or you know, replacing a car windshield like when it's when when you can't see we're just letting light through to the back of the eye we operated on brent and we operated on uh, two other patients as well and have been all three of them now uh, I, I, uh, have their vision back i'm i'm really over the moon um i'm seeing quite well about a strong 20 over 40 and some letters of the 20 over 30 line. That's the best I've I've seen in 20 years. And um, yeah, getting a lot of independence back and able to watch TV at a com comfortable distance and, and things like that. See, you know, nature and just, um, yeah, the kind of uh, beauty of the, the world.